and the international community sees all these things and they keep calm. USA saying that they are the, the holder of democracy, whatever it is, in that uh, democracy, my food. Who democracy help? Democracy is what brings killings in our land. Democracy is what brought us where we are today. Democracy brought only nothing but hunger in Nigeria and other parts of the country, any other country that claim to be playing democracy. Democracy is what makes Niger to become the poorest nation, even when they're supposed to be the richest among other nations. They have the highest uranium that has been demanded by the Westerners. It's democracy. Now they have decided to take the bull by the horn. Everybody turn against them. But when they are all from one administration to the other, impoverishing the, the, the nation, the country, nobody says anything. Nobody sees at anything because he have already belonged to that court of whatever they said from the upper level is what he will do at the lower level. Anything they tell you to do is they tell you to impoverish your people, you must go ahead and impoverish your people. Now the people have risen and said, enough is enough. Then everybody turned against them and said, they, 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 they do coup. What's the difference between coup at the ballot and coup by gun? They are all the same coup. And somebody who entered the government child through the coup at the ballot is now the one telling the people who do their own coup by gun that uh, their government is illegitimate. Imagine. And that is why they keep on castigating him every now and then. Every corner of the jail, they keep shouting, this one is not the owner of winner of election. He entered that place through coup and he want to come and fight another coup. Where, it is, where that one is being done? Democracy, democracy, democracy. Anyway, my wonderful people, if you get this message, like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. At the comment section, oh, please let this be made clear to the world that U.S. is the problem we are having in that Biafra land. Let them come out openly and declare the state of Biafra. They have the power to do it. But because of their, their selfish interest in the raw materials coming to, from the Biafra land, that is why all of them have kept silent. Even the, the so-called uh, uh, United Nations Chartered, I mean, quit Nigeria is a signatory to. They allow, a, a, I mean, an agitator, a freedom fighter, to be abducted, renditioned, and kept in a solitary confinement for over two years, getting to three years now. And the international community, everybody was mute. Because they have everything to do with the blacks. The blood of the blacks, as they have said it earlier, does not matter to them. That is why the killings is going on. Look at what is happening between Hamas and Israel. That is just a tip of the iceberg of what is happening, of, of the kind of killings that is going on in the so-called country. That contraction or mistake of a country called Nigeria. But everybody kept silent. The, the, the classified U.S. document described Ujuku as playboy, Igbos as gifted, wandering Jews, according to the United States of America State of uh, I mean, uh, 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 State of House. I mean, what do they call it? The, the classified U.S. documents of July 1969 described the Igbos as the wandering Jews of West Africa, gifted, aggressive, westernized, at best envied and resented. But mostly despised by the mass of their neighbors in the Federation. The document will describe leader of a Biafra, Ikemba Odimegu Ojuku, as a SY playboy, said the Igbos have fought well by the African standards against heavy odds. Their cynical and public relations use of the starvation has been brilliant. You see, I'm they are praising them that use of the salvation against the Biafrans is brilliant. This one, the US, when I didn't depress the so called Zoletical Republic of Nigeria and their allies, UK, including other Westerners. The document further revealed that, that then Senator uh, John Kennedy had proposed a Biafra state akin to the state of Israel that was created in 1948 following the persecution of the Jews people around the world. The 18 page documents were written by late Secretary of State Henry Kissinger to late President Richard Nixon. This one is, you can regard it as a memo. Thanks for watching. Wait for part three. Guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. For